Vega, the tourney's top seed, taking on the fifth seed, Pacific. A quick look at our tournament brackets. As we mentioned, GU, Pacific, ready to go, followed by Portland and Santa Clara. Good afternoon, everybody. And shots joined by my broadcast partner. That's my good friend Jennifer Mountain, former great at Gonzaga. On paper, on paper, Gonzaga, ranked number 14, 23 straight wins, heavy favorites. And yet, this Pacific team comes in on a roll. They absolutely are. Number 11. You know, they beat San Diego and San Francisco. They've done a terrific job. They've got momentum. And more importantly, a really tight game in Stockton a couple weeks ago. Gonzaga coming in. They are ready to go. They've had 11 days off. They're on a mission to seeding implications at stake. Let's see what they've got. Nike key match if a couple of stars need to shine today and probably will. Well, absolutely. Look at those shooting percentages right there. But back to back player of the year is Yvonne Ejim, defensive player of the year. 35 straight games in double figures. She's done it at all for the Zags at both ends of the floor. And then Elizabeth Elliott, tall task at hand, huge presence inside, rebounds really hard. She's shooting 62% from the field. The Tigers will need a big one from her to pull off the upset. Great time to bring in the third member of our broadcast crew, Jordan Robinson. Get a little more on Egypt, don't you? Yes, I do. Well, like you mentioned, Jen, she is the player of the year and defensive player of the year. But some other big news is she announced that she's coming back for a fifth and final season next year. Her teammate, Brenna Maxwell, joked that there's probably a WCC coaches group with chat somewhere saying, oh, we have to deal with her for another <laughs> year. But Yvonne said she knows she made the best decision for her. And I know she's on track to becoming a doctor. And that takes a lot of schooling. So why not play some hoops while she preps for saving lives in the future, Anne? <laughs> I love that. And man, J-Mo, when Egypt announced that decision in front of, I don't know, thousands at the candle, the place went nuts. Well, and for good reason. I mean, you look at her production and what she's done over her career as a coach, you'd be darn happy to hear that. All right, Pacific coming in at 18 and 13. They finished eight and eight in conference play, the fifth seed, having won two games in this tournament thus far. Gonzaga at 29 and two, a perfect record in the WCC, had that double bye. It's their first tournament game of 2024, and we are underway. Right off the bat, Maxwell hits a triple, as you would expect. Starting lineups brought to you by Credit Union One, James Deaton and Smith, a dynamic backcourt for Pacific. Elliott and Holmberg will have to do yeoman's work down low. Deaton, who was so fabulous against San Francisco, checked by Ejim inside. Well, I think Deaton's a big factor here. She had a great start, like you mentioned, Ann, the other night. She plays inside out for them, can create, and right out of the gate, offensive board for the Tigers. Deaton, 18 and eight against USF to JMO's point. Smith was a little off, and Deaton more than picked up the slack. Gonzaga starting five, the usual sus suspects, the same suspects. Great to see Hollingsworth in the starting lineup. Rolled her ankle in practice a few days ago, taped up, ready to go. Well, it is tournament time, and everybody wants to play. Great take to the rim by Trong. Ejim, she'll try again, and she'll go to the line. Well, Ejim, so athletic, gets to the glass. Big category to watch throughout this game as both teams rebound very hard. Foul trouble will be, I think, a, a, an interesting thing to watch as we go as well. Holmberg picks up that foul, her first, team's first. Ejim, let's get this out of the way right now because Gonzaga mopped up in terms of <laughs> postseason awards. Ejim, player of the year, defensive player of the year, coach of the year, Lisa Fortier, sixth woman of the year, Mount Hybens, all wearing Gonzaga gear. Yeah, and, and obviously, I mean, look at their record, 29-2. and two. They've been absolutely stunning throughout the season, undefeated in conference play. So three to nothing, Gonzaga with the early lead. Wide open look, rimming out. And we're gonna stay right here. Looks like Gonzaga commits that foul. All right, read it and weep. <laughs> I mean, just beautiful, I mean, all the way across the board. And when you have the type of talent, they have five players in double figures, all starters in double figures. I mean, tremendous talent across the board. Turnover. 
running the floor is Ejim. Tries to avoid the turnover. Pull up, air ball. Yeah, you can see the Tigers a little bit tight. I mean, yeah. those are shots they made the other day. Well, Maxwell ain't tight. No, and I'll tell you, you let this team get going from the three-point line. They lead Division One in three-point field goal percentage at 40%, and that's one of the reasons why Maxwell is just wonderful. There's the answer that Pacific needed. Smith, who just went over 1,000 points in the last game, that was crucial. Maybe that'll kind of relax them a little. Yeah, I mean, that's a big, big basket right there, just to settle them down, as you said. And, you mentioned her going over a thousand points. It's not just that. She was so poised. Veteran put them on, on her shoulders the other day. A good look at Bradley Davis, ninth season, reaching the semifinals for the second straight year. They were eliminated in heartbreak fashion against Portland last year. They got another big, big tough road today against the number 14th ranked team in the country. Stepping back and hitting, oh baby, James. Well, talking to Coach Fortier, one of the one of the things in the scout was not allowing James to get going, and right there, they've got to play her penetration. She's really good off the bounce, but knocking down two threes to get the Tigers tied. 14 points, 10 assists James had against USF. Unbelievable. A couple of triples, three steals. She was sensational yesterday. Six apiece. There's the travel. There's a good look at Lisa Fortier in her 10th year on the Naismith list for Coach of the Year award. 20 win seasons are expected, predicted, and her clubs just keep coming through. Well, you know, she came in and had a tall order with all the success that Kelly Graves has had, but she has continued to put this program at such high expectations. They've done a terrific job with recruiting, and her staff is, is rolling right now. Little who checks in deep inside. Ejim usually gets that shot in her sleep. Nice offensive board, Little and turnover Gonzaga. Yeah, turnover number three. And you know, that you talk about the 11 days off and the first time on the floor, you get a little bit tight. They're playing for seedings, you know, implications like we've talked about. This is a team on a mission. You just don't want to press too much. So ball tipping off the hands of a Pacific player. Rosie Schweitzer in for the Tigers, by the way, and how good was she yesterday? Oh, she was good. Terrific off the bench. I mean, at the defensive end and offensively, she was five of five from the field at one point in the game, and she just did a terrific job of, of getting easy shots. Ivins checking in for Gonzaga as well. Whistle blows that play dead. Well, Smith a little too physical coming off that down screen. And you're going to see tightness with Maxwell not allowing her to get open looks at the three-point line. That's one of their goals is to limit her touches. Smith picks up that foul of her first team second. We're early in our semifinal matchup. Six apiece, Gonzaga, Pacific, and Ejim so aggressive. She'll go to the line. Schweitzer got her. Well, you're going to see a lot of pick and roll action by the Zags. The pick and roll, high post drives, high low options. Egypt's journey at Gonzaga has been absolutely spectacular. It's just a, a great reminder. Jennifer, I know you coached at the highest level. You tell your kids when they come in, sometimes they don't get the minutes as a freshman. Just keep working, keep grinding, it's coming. Well, and, and you you got to credit Egypt and what she's done in the offseason. She's expanded her game, her work ethic. I mean, you look at the numbers, you, you saw them earlier. She had three points as a freshman average, and look at where she is now. She's taken her athletic ability and put her skill set together. Off the pick, James, brilliant, didn't even hesitate. And look who's got the lead. Well, we're tied at eight apiece, my bad. Well, you know, talking with Bradley before the game, this is a team that has a lot of confidence right now. They played him tight in Stockton. Yep. It's tournament time. They've got a couple games under their belt. 
Long ball to perfection, Kaylin Tong. Well, and I tell you, I mentioned it earlier, their ability to shoot the three in almost all spots. You cannot give them space if you are Pacific. Tong, last year's WCC Player of the Year. The season that she had to take Gonzaga into the postseason. Holmberg blocked inside by Maxwell, and it goes off Holmberg. Good D by Maxwell. So Pacific hanging around, back and forth we go. Trong sisters so tough. That time, Kaylin. Yeah, that's a three. We got you. We are the WCC. We are fueled by the conviction to achieve our goals without boundaries. We recognize and we adapt. We welcome adversity. We are Presidential Medal of Freedom winners, NBA champions, Olympic gold medalists, record breakers, and difference makers. We create change, and we create champions. We are the West Coast Conference. We are thrilled about our partnership with Credit Union One. They're willing to make a commitment to enhancing the student athlete experience at all of our championship events. We feel that their strong presence in Las Vegas, coupled with our men's and women's basketball tournament, will be an opportunity to continue to grow, and we're just excited about the long-term support at our most signature event. Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 27th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales from every sub are given back to the community. And to kick off all that giving, Peter gave me an apron. I'm honored. Looking good, Danny. We've got subs to make, though. Yeah, now I know why you gave me the apron. <laughs> Join us Wednesday, March 27th, for Jersey Mike's day of giving. Be a sub above. We are thrilled about our partnership with Credit Union One. They're willing to make a commitment to enhancing the student athlete experience at all of our championship events. We feel that their strong presence in Las Vegas, coupled with our men's and women's basketball tournament, will be an opportunity to continue to grow, and we're just excited about the long-term support at our most signature event. Back in Las Vegas, specifically the Orleans Arena site of this year's WCC Women's Basketball Tournament. Top seeded Gonzaga ranked number 14th in the country, leading a gritty Pacific club. 11-8 first quarter action. Hey, listen, this is a Gonzaga team that is pushing hard, hard to host. Well, absolutely. I mean, you look at their record, second in most wins in the, in the Division One. They've got a 23-game win streak right now, a net of 11. They're 10 and two versus the top 100 in net. Double digit bit wins against Stanford, Alabama, and Arizona earlier in the season. Terrific resume, and you're right, they're, they're looking to host at home in a, in a place where really Spokane supports women's basketball. They've got a great chance. The second reveal has them in the top 16, which would mean they would host. And JMO, you know what the kennel is like when it comes to women's basketball. Well, a terrific environment, and they will support it. And there's a charge. Oh, James is going to get nicked for that. Yeah, that's a tough call. Wow. On the move, creating. Oh, you saw oh. the hand. A little bit of a push off. That's where they, they got that foul right there. I don't know. Boy, that's a heartbreaker. Well, and there's Deaton yep. sneaking in, very crafty on the inbounds to steal it back. We mentioned her effort the other day. She's done a little bit of everything for this Tiger squad. 
So the cool thing about Gonzaga women's basketball is if you're playing at home in Spokane, there's no doubt that they're going to fill the joint. The really, really, really cool thing about these Bulldog fans is they travel. And oh, do they travel. Yeah, they absolutely do. I mean, they love women's basketball. I mean, it's been years where that place has been sold out. Diehard fans. It used to be just the men's side. Now it is both sides, and it is a hard ticket to get. Sure is. All right, 11 to 9. And by the way, Hollingsworth picked up her second personal foul. Keep an eye on that. Gonzaga a little bit out of sorts. And the good news for Pacific fans, their club has settled down and settled in. A little extra pass and probably too much of an extra pass as Little should have gone up. Absolutely. She had a lane, little mid-range pull-up, passed it up trying to scoot that ball. Little shovel pass into Ejim. Gonzaga's going to pick up a little bit here on the ball handler. You'll see them mix it up all game long. And it's on the floor now for Pacific. It's a two-point lead for Gonzaga. Pacific looking for the stunning upset. Little with the board, yanks it down into the arms of Trong, and she'll trot it up. A good look for Pacific. I mean, that mid-range pull it is James' game. Blocked from behind, Ejim. That's great defense by Pacific, and that Tiger bench is fired up. Well, there's Deaton coming in from the backside to get that block. They're doing a really good job. We talked about that pick and roll option. You're going to see it all day long, but she comes from behind, and Ejim steps on the line. Love that. Deaton gets picked, doesn't quit on the play, and gets Ejim and the reject from behind. Deaton is a gamer. Transfer out of North Dakota State before that. UNC Greeley pick. Little... And a silly foul. That's going to go against James, and that's number two on James. That's, that's a tough Oof. call right there. And they're shooting already in the yep. bonus. Number three, Anaya James, Anaya James all conference player. She runs the show. We talk about her ability to score the basketball. She's She's got to be on the floor if you are the Tigers. Well, that's just as disappointing for her. She'll sit for a bit. And here's a good look at Little. The bonus, two shots. English International. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Esther is looking for her first point since early February. Gives this club some length at 6-2. Shot blocker, rebounder. Misses them both. Deaton leads the charge. Deaton had a notion. Smart to pull that back early in the shot clock. Smith. Yes, resets the pick. Seven on the shot clock now for Lowry, who has checked in. Smith's got to put something up. Gives herself some space and hits. Oh, to beat the shot clock buzzer. Boy, well, great job of keeping your dribble. Gonzaga icing the side on ball screen, making her go back to the sideline. Egypt loses the handle, tries to muscle it up, and is able to do so. Well, Pacific doing a nice job of defending the on ball screen. Egypt mishandled that, but stays with it and gets the easy two. Keeps that dribble going, and Ennis is going to be called for that foul. Her first illegal screen. Well, you see Smith again, just off the ice right there, gets to the paint with the shot clock winding out, and that's her game. She loves the mid-range pull-up, does a good job of decision-making. Fouled out yesterday, did Smith against USF. Kind of had a quiet nine points. She's off to a great start today. Yes. All right, 13-11, Gonzaga with the lead, with the ball. Well, you talk about Smith, she's got the task of guarding Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to guard Kaylin Trong either. Goodness. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, if you are playing defense on this Gonzaga team, you cannot go under screens. If you do, they're going to pull the trigger. For the best 
shooting teams from beyond the arc in the country. Yep. Answer not there for Smith. Loose ball into the hands of Maxwell. Kaylin Trong will trot it up. Minute 30 left to go in this opening quarter. Gonzaga by five. Trong looks short it is. And I think Kaylee Trong will get whistled for that foul. And she will. Well, we talked about the ability of this Gonzaga team shooting the three. You get caught up with the screen or you go under, they're going to make you pay, and boom. Kaylin Trong knocks it down. Critical possession, methinks, J-Mo for Pacific. Yeah, absolutely. They've, they've struggled a little bit here in the half court. Schweitzer puts the ball on the deck and blows by Hybens. I'll tell you, she has high IQ and super crafty. Uses her body so well. They're going to get a travel. Yep. Reading my mind, J-Mo. All right, so with 101 left to go in this first quarter, and you're Pacific, you're thinking, just stay calm. We're in this thing. Just do what we do. Absolutely. And, and Smith's going to be a big, crucial part of this with James yep. going out with two fouls. But right here, you got a minute, under a minute left. Ooh. Kaylee Trong picks up her second foul. <laughs> Team's fourth. Really good job of Smith to go right at her. Yeah, and there's the veteran right there taking advantage. Had her on her hip. Easy call for the officials. Big time. So Kaylee will have a seat, little back onto the floor. And inbounding will be Pacific. Well, right here, you, you got 50 seconds. You want to use shot clock a little bit. Nothing quick. Rimming out. Tough luck for Smith. One and done. Good board by Little. Tough luck for Smith on that one. Lowry, Kalen Trong, good matchup. Look for the high on ball, rising low. Stepping back, tons of room. Rimming out, Ejim doing what Ejim does. I'll tell you that, that was a great rebound. She was kind of pushed underneath the basket, but uses her length. Look at that inside look, Deaton into Schweitzer. Deaton, just terrific heads up play, seeing it. Hyvins had fallen down, taking advantage of it, seven on the clock. You gotta hurry. So that will end the first quarter. Gonzaga with the three point lead over a Pacific team that came to play. Look at this slip. Rosie with the gimme. Pacific hanging around. See, Home Quote Explorer lets you easily compare home insurance options so you can get what you need without overpaying. Yeah, we spent a lot on this kitchen. Oh, yeah, really high end stuff. Sorry, that's our ghost. Yeah, okay. It's more annoying than anything. Too bad there's mold behind the backsplash. Yep. That's mold. Well then, let's see if we can save you some money with Progressive. Guess how much I originally paid for this fireplace? 23 bucks. Materials and labor. Just ignore him. You got bamboozled! From my lips, my L, to my ears, real ones know that finding the right products can be a major struggle. But my L, fire. Edges late. Curls, pop it. Frizz, I don't know her. For wash day, for every day. And don't even get me started on the smell. Mmm. Created by me, for all of you. This internet stinks. Guess what? Jordan has two extra toes. I told you that in confidence. Like all on one foot or? Switch to Xfinity because it's only live once. What do you do with 72 hours, 18 holes, 
four friends, and one wedding. The absolute most. For however you fit. Bonobos. At Care.com, you can find all the help you need. You can find babysitters. And you can find nannies. You can find dog walkers who will step in as your best friend's new best friend. And housekeepers who can get your floors looking great. At least for a little bit. You can find companions and helpers and caregivers. But most importantly, you can find out what it's like to not have to do it all on your own. Find all the care you need at care.com. Moments away from the start of the second quarter. Top seeded and 14th ranked Gonzaga leading fifth seeded Pacific 18-15. Let's sneak into that Pacific huddle, shall we? So we gotta get to the rock under control like you just did. Up to two feet, jumps, make the dump off. There's a dump off for there, okay? First play we have, I think it's gonna be their ball right now though. Yeah, it's their ball. We're getting stop, score, stop. We go down on offense. I want to go red. Look in the racket. Liz, once you get Bradley has got his team ready. The fans need to understand this, J Mo. February 3rd, Gonzaga wins at home against Pacific. 104 to 39. Two weeks later, in Stockton, same two clubs beat. And the final, 91-78 Gonzaga. It's the closest game Gonzaga has had the entire season in conference play. Well, you look at this conference day in and day out. Everybody's so competitive. It comes down to scout. You look at, at what they're doing tonight. It's a three-point ball game. I think Gonzaga needs to settle down here in this second quarter. But, you know, both teams struggle to take care of the ball. Six and seven turnovers apiece. But you're right, I mean, this is a club that believes and anything can happen tournament time. They've won a couple of tournament games up to this point. Have the Tigers, obviously Gonzaga with that double bye, playing for the first time in this tournament. Catch and shoot. And Maxwell has hit a triple in every single game this season. Well, you look at her ability to get the shot off. It's such a quick trigger. You give her any space whatsoever. Oh, and there's gonna be a turnover. Wow. Uh, looks like Wow, and she's slow to get up yeah. and it's still down is Kaylin Tron. She might have twisted her ankle on that Certainly don't want to see that if you were a Gonzaga fan Yeah, she yeah right over the top So costly turnover for Pacific to start their second quarter in terms of possessions, and Gonzaga looking to increase the lead. Egypt just one arms that offensive rebound, but she's picked. Here comes Deaton. Now Smith. Good decision. Schweitzer with the old fashioned scoop. I love it. Not quite there. Egypt one and done. Here comes Kaylin Tron looking good on that ankle. Look at the block. Lowry. Great hustle play by Lowry, one of their best bench players. Yeah, comes in with a lot of energy. She's athletic, gets that block coming from behind in transition. Halen didn't see her coming from behind. Gonzaga lucky to keep this ball. Lowry starting the second quarter as Maxwell misses on the catch and shoot. Everybody fighting for the rebound and then fighting afterwards. My goodness, every possession, J Mo. Well, Egypt's struggling. That's, a, you know, maybe the third little bunny opportunity yep. that she's had. Just two of six from the field. There's the cutter. Egypt does a great job to read that lane. Oh, look at that. Trong bumped and scoring, though, is Hollingsworth. But what a no look. Yeah, beautiful pass. The Trong sisters so good in transition in the open court. Great decision making. Pacific with nine turnovers. They're going to have to clean that up as Gonzaga posts their biggest lead of the game. Not there on the long ball, Holmberg. Well, you can see this Gonzaga squad kind of settling in. You get a quarter underneath your belt. We mentioned the fact that Pacific, Pacific already played two games. Egypt so athletic, caught that ball awfully deep, but just takes a one little step for the sweet stroke off the glass. 
Well, a beautiful feed by Maxwell. She can shoot the three. She's so dangerous. You got to get up on her. But here's the Trong sisters. No look pass and a great finish. Look at this. That's as good as it gets. Little bump, but no problem. I got you. Climbing to the top, yeah, I'm crushing it, crushing it. Finding your healthy has never been easier. Start with sprouts. Hey. No flex, zone. Hey. Hey. No flex, zone. Hey. Knowing that Thriven is helping me take the right financial steps for my kids' future, it's a huge sense of relief for my family. <sighs> Every day in this hammock gets you closer to another day in this hammock. With one key, you can earn rewards on hotel stays. Cool story. You're not busy, are you? Heads up! Heads up! Game time. Get back, get back, y'all know he like that! Geek, geek, whoop, whoop. I ain't playing around, make one boss move, I take it down. Get back, get back, y'all know me like that. Huh, internet's out. Wanna hear a fun fact? Elbows are impossible to lick. I meant your own elbows. Switch to Xfinity, because it's only live once. I'm Jerry, I smoked, and I have late stage COPD. I'm hoping to get on the lung transplant list, but I don't know if I'll be accepted in time. My children are really worried. My tip is, every morning, give your kids a call or send them a text. It may be the last time that you do. You can quit. For free help, text QUIT now to 333-888. 7 nothing run for Gonzaga to open the second quarter. Zags leading Pacific now 25-15. We like to call it all access. That means we get to go inside these huddles. Gonzaga, Lisa Fortier, take it away. That's what it looked like yesterday also. Okay, it looked like they're just letting people play through it, okay? And I, I get it, okay? We just got to play through it. You guys are doing a nice job so far. Just do not expect that they're going to call any of those fouls. It's baskets, not complaints. Okay, that's what we talked about in the pregame. Make up a t-shirt. Baskets, not complaints, Jack. I like it. Mountain. I like it. I mean, you look at their their record, 16-0, and 0, averaging eight, almost 83 points a game. Look at their margin of victory. Yeah. My goodness. Well, and, and, and the performance, I mean, it's a type of shots that they're taking. 50% from the field, almost 42% from the three-point line, and they share the ball. Every single starter averages in double figures for Gonzaga. So you go ahead and try to pick your poison in terms of how you defend this club. Well, and that's exactly right, because you take something away and somebody else is going to hurt you. Another Pacific turnover. Yeah, and that's what's plagued them in this second quarter. They have three turnovers in the first two and a half minutes. James still on the bench for Pacific with those two fouls, and that hurts the cause. Yeah, and I think if, if you're Coach Davis, you might want to look to bring her in a little bit early before this gets away from you. And the other thing is, you know, Elliott has not shot in this game yet. They're all conference player. Oh, and Smith's hurt. Yeah, she really took a pop from Maxwell, who picks up that foul on the charge. And Smith is done. Excuse me, down. Well, to kind of go back to what I was saying is, Elizabeth Elliott, their all-conference post player, has not taken a shot in this game so far. They've got to get some touches to her early. And here's that drive right there. 
Yeah, Whoa. she took an elbow Damn. to the cheek. And the officials are going to take a quick look at it. I mean, I don't think anything intentional whatsoever. Basketball Just, play yes. right there. But nonetheless, that certainly hurts. And oh, yeah, glad easy for me to say. <laughs> yeah, glad to see her Brother. pop back up. Missy Barlow, Alicia Murray will take a look at the monitor. Yeah, I don't think this will be upgraded. 25-15, Gonzaga with the lead. It was a three-point game heading into the second quarter. But Gonzaga has put on a blitzkrieg of a 7-0 run. Well, and it's off turnovers by Pacific. You know, trying to create a little too fast. It's got to get Previous ball movement and then make attacks. For a potential upgrade. Jamo, did you hear what Missy said into the microphone? Yeah, she just said at this point that it's a, under review for a potential upgrade. Okay. Another good look at it. Just coming across. You know, she did get her, but it, it's a basketball play going to the rim, so I really don't think it'll be upgraded. She's trying to swim through, step through, and get that angle to the rim is Maxwell. It would appear. So now... Ken Nash will join the huddle and the discussion. You look at what Gonzaga has done, you know, clinching that regular season title a couple of weeks ago. They haven't lost at home. Have to review the call of common foul is confirmed as it did not rise to the level of an intentional foul. Well, so there you have it. Yep. Whoa. Thank you, Missy Barlow. All stands. And I think it's the it's the right it's the right call. I agree 100 percent Gonzaga is going to come with a little one two two three quarter court. They like to do this to control tempo and pace. Important possession here for Pacific yep. at the offensive end. Pacific has yet to score this quarter. Deaton stepping back. Nothing there. Now she's looking for help and another Pacific turnover. Yo. Well, Hollingsworth doing a terrific job at the defensive end against Elliott. She was three-quarter fronting, not allowing that pass inside in the duck-in. James back on the floor for Pacific, replacing Deaton. Remember, James playing with the two fouls. Halen Trong back onto the floor for Gonzaga as well. Yeah, I think that's really smart, bringing her back in the game for the Tigers. Ivins and Little, your subs on the floor for Gonzaga as well. Ball knocked about, kept alive. Look at that hustle play, and that's all because of Ivins. Yeah, six women of the year, and that's why the little 50-50 balls makes a play, makes it happen. There's another steal. My goodness. Gonzaga's starting to feel like they're gonna get some separation this quarter, Jennifer Mountain, right now on a nine nothing run. Well, Pacific just hurting their cause. Decision making, trying to go too fast. So the ball gets pinged around a lot, everybody getting a hand in the way, but Hybens goes the extra mile. Yeah, you can see Ejim, I actually think she passed up an opportunity to score, but Hybens stays with it. On the way down, great smart play so she doesn't get called for a travel, and Ejen, the recipient of that. Hybens had the wherewithal to be going to the deck, finally get her, her hand secured on the ball, and understanding that she had an open teammate underneath the basket. Just a heady play. Absolutely. So 27-15. Deaton back on the floor. James hesitates, aggressive. That's why you want her on the court. Yeah, and smart by not getting all the way to the rim to possibly pick that third personal up. But you're absolutely right, Ann. She's such a good decision maker and a threat to score in the guard spot. Can Pacific get some scoring from down low with Elliott and uh, Holmberg? That's the big question. Yeah, so far Gonzaga taking away their inside game. Kaylin Trong. Pacific looked a little disjointed on that play defensively on the switch. And yet, here they come on a one and done. Oh, Ejim. Another Pacific turnover. That's 12 turnovers in the game. Mm. 
Ivins almost drags that pivot foot. Now Egypt, she'll square up. Maxwell Holbrook comes to show. Yeah, great job on the head screen. Seven on the shot clock for Maxwell and the Zags. Floater, short. Jump ball, possession arrow favoring Pacific. Hollingsworth checking back in. Join the conversation. You can do that while you watch West Coast Conference action. All you got to do is use the hashtag WCC Hoops, the latest new scores more, of WCC Hoops on X. Ivins wouldn't give her any room, so now James will try it from the perimeter. Takes the pick, buries it. Well, good read by Elliott on that. They did not do a good job of getting the ball inside. They're, she's fronted, so she comes up and sets the on ball, allowing James to get through. Answer. You love that for Hollingsworth. You know, that bad ankle, we wondered if she was even going to play. Yeah, game time decision. She was in a boot yesterday. Ah. Inside, there's Elliott. Yeah, first time she has been able to get position down low. Hollingsworth fronting, and they make the read. Oh, wide open. And Hollingsworth will go to the line. Another defensive miscue for Pacific. Yeah, Hybens, I didn't think she was going to throw it, but great pick and roll option. We talk about the pick and roll in the, the, the wing down. spot or the high on ball. Opposite post is going to roll high. And most often they have a great opportunity for a high low option through the Zags. Elliott whistled for that foul, by the way. Her first team's first. Fans, don't forget to stick around for the Sterling Global Financial Halftime Show. Eric and Stephanie will get us all up to date, and our commissioner, Stu Jackson, will join them on set. Special guest, we'll look forward to that. 32-21. Inside. Shot definitely altered by Hollingsworth. Yeah, great recovery by Hollingsworth on that. Deaton had the gap. Look at Deaton. Great pick from behind. Smith, gonna leave it. James, fearless. Short on that shot again. Hollingsworth coming over to play the help D. Well, Hollingsworth has been terrific in the interior defense and rebounding. More rebounds in this first half. And on the shot clock, Maxwell looking for the slip, not there. Hybens didn't like that three-point look. Now it's Kaylin Trog. And with four seconds left on the shot clock, Deaton commits the foul. Yeah, that's a tough foul with the shot clock yep. winding down right there. Man, Trong was going to have to create one-on-one. -on -one. A little back in for Gonzaga. Jennifer, if you're the defense, you have to work so hard every single possession against this team with all the weapons. It's got to be exhausting. Well, you're absolutely right. Ooh. Man. Claire O'Connor in the mix, and she'll get dinged for that foul. Her first, second team. Yeah, aggressive to the rim right there. Love to see that, but Pacific, once again, open three-point shot. Yeah, there's been some defensive yeah. miscues for Pacific. They're really lucky they dodged that bullet. You're exactly right. Deaton walks. Well, you talk about Gonzaga's power off the offensive end, but you got to look at their defense. You bet. When they're locked in, they're so long in all spots and they're smart. Coach Fortier talked about it yesterday in practice where you can't take plays off defensively. That's where we win ball games. Get locked in and do your job. Schweitzer on the floor for Pacific. She's going to get whistled for that foul. She had a little wraparound going against Egypt, that's for sure. And Schweitzer will pick up that foul. 
Egypt doing such a terrific job. I and mean, you have an athlete that can rim run the way she does down the floor. She gets position down early, and if you, she gets you on your back, you're going to have a hard time getting around. Schweitzer picks up her second, team's third. 205 left to go in the second quarter. Period dominated by Gonzaga. Wow. Ivins rimming away. Offensive rebound. Not quite there on the pass. Little chucks it, and it'll be Pacific's ball. State in the obvious, J-Mo. Pacific really needs to stay within 10 at half. Yeah, you know, you got less than two minutes to go in the half. You've got to have great offensive possessions, and it's got to be defense, and it's kind of take five. You cannot give up open threes, and you got to rebound. Elliott back on the floor for Pacific. It's 32-21, but 45 right here left to go in this opening half. Extra pass inside. More bodies hitting the floor. That's again, it's Smith, yeah. Smith again, I think she got hit in the head going to that, but good offensive read right there, over the top. Smith has taken a pounding. Well, great extra pass and going to the rim, and you see the, the hand coming through, and Ivan's just kind of knocked her with her hand, that off hand, trying to get the block. Smith has got the five points. James leading everybody for Pacific with nine. Egypt already with 11 points. She's got the seven boards. Just a matter of time before she collects yet another double-double. Big toss right there for the veteran Smith. Well, you, you talked about this last couple of minutes. I mean, right now, Gonzaga on a little bit of a scoring drought. Haven't scored in over two minutes. And that's credit to the Pacific defense. And that's exactly what they're going to need this minute 40 going into the half. Just kind of climb back in. Holmberg back in. Ennis will take a seat for Pacific. But Jen, there have been some discombobulated Pacific plays defensively that they're going to have to really shore up. This Gonzaga team will make you pay. You're absolutely right. There's so many weapons. And this is a team that is a veteran group that makes really good decisions. Trong picks up the dribble, dribble. Egypt squares all the way to the rack. The ball flies out of her hands. Deep position, maybe a little too deep. Yeah, she got herself caught way under the rim right there. They're going to keep the ball here, however. That's a break for Gonzaga. Yes. It was a three-point Bulldog lead after one. Wow. And Hollingsworth is having herself a half. I mean, she sure is at both ends of the floor. Yes. I mean, I love what she's doing in the interior against Elizabeth Elliott defensively. Ten points for Hollingsworth already Tom at her seasonal Tom. average. Kaylee Tom. Well, excuse she's me, just, that's Kaylin, my bad. Just coming off the inbounds pass. Again, you talk about miscues. That's a defensive mistake. Just one pass and shot from the sideline out of bounds against a team that shoots 40% from the three. You've got to make Hollingsworth put it on the ground. Hollingsworth, a good three-point shooter. Remember, she was game-time decision with that ankle. What a game she's having. <laughs> my goodness, there's a double. You've got to do something with it if you're Pacific. Yeah, and Holmberg nails it. Well, good read on the, on the double team right there by Pacific, a much needed basket. Holmberg's gonna be a factor, I think, in this second half. She's gotta be, J-Mo. Yep. Nine second differential, shot and game clock. Maxwell, catch, shoot, man, that oh. quick release. Quick release, and I'll tell you, that is execution to a T. The cross screen, down screen, and an easy three. Three triples now for Maxwell. Let's see if Pacific can find a little magic to end this half. He's got to put it up. So the largest lead of the game, you're looking at it. 38-25, top seeded and 14th ranked Gonzaga using a really big second quarter to extend the lead to 13 at the half. Well, you talk about execution. There's the back screen, down screen, and Maxwell coming off with nobody guarding her. Terrific execution. They are flying from the three-point line. Jordan standing by. Take it away. 
Well, Coach, your team had 11 days off. What was the emphasis coming into this one? Well, the emphasis was defense. Uh, we have to guard. They're a really good offensive team. And uh, if you let any of them get the ball in their comfort spots, they're all capable of scoring. And so we've been talking a lot about defending as a team and how to limit them from getting easy baskets. What do you like on the looks on the offensive end? Well, I think we're getting okay shots. I just I wish we would be a little bit more physical. They're calling nothing around the basket, and, and that's how it is in the postseason, and so we can't expect that. And we made a big point before we came out of finishing baskets and not complaining and not fussing, and I think we could finish a little bit better, but I, we're getting some good looks, and hopefully we'll be able to find some other people in the second half without so much foul trouble. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks to both of you. Okay, 38-25, Lisa Fortier and her Gonzaga Bulldogs the overwhelming favorites in this year's tournament, leading Pacific 38-25. Maxwell's been doing her thing from beyond the arc. Pacific in this thing early, but oh, the second quarter by the dogs, something to behold. Coming up next, Eric and Stephanie on site. Give us the goods, halftime commences. At the Moon Base McDonald's, where everyone enjoys old savory McDonald's sauce. Ah. There's a monster coming after the meal. Ah. Let's go! Quick Dicer 3000, assemble! McDonald's sauce, win the day! <laughs> oh. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce, only at McDonald's. Ba -ba 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 at Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, Steel, and Scott's. No warehouse store can match the convenience of your neighborhood Ace. Stop on by or order online and we'll have it ready for pickup in 15 minutes. Or we'll deliver it the same day. And right now, get a $25 bonus reward when you spend $150 on Scott's products. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Okay, when you turn around, you're gonna see someone. You have a turkey and cheese. Let's imagine that LL Cool J has a bubble around him. Do we want to be Hey, I'm Keith. Uh, there are some situations that young homeowners turning into their parents just can't handle. Yep, there he is. There's my nephew. Now, I got a video of him uh, playing piano. That's not how you take a selfie. Progressive can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home and auto with us. Three, two, one. We don't need a countdown. Just take the picture. It's impossible to pick favorites between my horses, but motels, no problem. I like this one. I think he likes me. This internet stinks. Guess what? Jordan has two extra toes. I told you that in confidence. Like all on one foot, or? Switch to Xfinity, because it's only live once. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Get incredible 0% APR for 72 months on the fully electric BZ4X. Or lease one for just $329 a month. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to the Credit Union 1 WCC Basketball Championship and our halftime show presented by Sterling Global Financial. The Gonzaga women making their debut here in Las Vegas this week on top 38 to 25 at the half here at the Orleans Arena. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Eric Rothman, Stephanie Hawk Freeman to my left and joined now by West Coast Conference Commissioner Stu Jackson. And Stu, good to see you again. Good to talk to you again as the week has unfolded. What's it been like for you experiencing this firsthand? I know it's the one year anniversary of your uh, announcement as the WCC Commissioner. Yeah, first of all, it's great to get the band back together again. So <laughs> thanks for having me on again. Now, you know, early impressions are um, just spectacular. I mean, it's uh, I just want to give a shout out to our staff who I think just does an excellent job of putting on a first class tournament. And, you know, here at the Orleans Arena, just based on the volunteers and the staff here, they've just done an outstanding job. But the biggest part of this tournament is just the competitiveness. 
competitive in this of it. And it's, uh, I think it's been off the charts and uh, the best is yet to come with semifinal games today on both the women's side and the men's side. Uh, so all in all, for a first year, it's been a great experience. All right, Commissioner, I want to talk a little bit about the strength and especially this Gonzaga women's basketball team since they're currently playing right now. Just talk about how strong they've showed throughout the year and their potential postseason or not potential, I mean, they're going to go, but their looks in the postseason. Yeah, no, their resume is strong. I mean, the fact that they're on a 23-game winning streak here and, uh, you know, without argument, one of the best offensive teams uh, in the country. Um, and they do it very efficiently. Um, you know, they're, they have size. They shoot the ball well. They're deep. Uh, they don't have a lot of weaknesses. And uh, certainly in the NCAA tournament, I think for them, they have a really good shot to, to make some noise, and uh, that'd be great for them. It's obviously great for the conference, and, uh, you know, we wish them nothing but the best, regardless of what happens in this game today. Yeah, we see their resume on the screen there, 29-2 and two overall. As you mentioned, Commissioner, riding that 23-game winning streak. And you know, let's, let's turn our attention a little bit to the men's side of things. We've got the two men's semifinals games later on tonight. What have been your impressions of the top two seeds, St. Mary's and Gonzaga, and maybe where they shake out as the as the postseason unfolds? Yeah, certainly their postseason NCAA invitees um, to come on Selection yeah. Sunday, and that's terrific. But I, I do think it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, St. Mary's, I do think in the end, will probably go in as a higher seed. But that puts Gonzaga in a position that uh, is both uncomfortable for them, but very comfortable in that, you know, they have an opportunity to be what I call underseeded uh, based on the way that they've been playing and the fact I think they're 14 and one in their last 15 games since they made the lineup change. That's going to scare some people in the bracket, uh, you know, come selection Sunday. St. Mary's, on the other hand, I just think has had an outstanding season. They are, they are our conference champion, and I expect them to do well, uh, you know, when the tournament begins. And finally, Commissioner, you know, we look around the Orleans Arena, especially today, a huge contingent of fans coming down from Spokane. I've been really impressed with the fan support this week. And, you know, obviously it's a draw to have people come to Las Vegas. But what is it like to see the fans come in, support this tournament, and enjoy the great facilities here at the Orleans? Well, what it's like, it's just great energy, right? Um, and, you know, Gonzaga has a large contingent here, but today in this semifinal game, the Pacific fans have been loud and mighty, yes, they have. you know, and uh, it, it's been fun to watch to get that kind of energy here in the building. And, you know, we expect the same thing tonight, uh, you know, in the other semifinal uh, with, uh, yeah, with, yeah, so, yeah. It'll be great. Commissioner, we appreciate you joining us once again and enjoy the rest of the games today and the finals tomorrow. Thanks, thanks very much. And thanks for having me. Stu Jackson, West Coast Conference Commissioner, joining us for what has been a great week of basketball. And hey, we've got dogs catching Frisbees. We've got everything here at the Orleans this week. And Zag on top 38-25. More from the half in a second. At the moon base McDonald's, there's a monster coming after the McDonald's sauce. With Dyser 3000 assemble. McDonald's sauce, win the day. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce only at McDonald's. Today, I'm excited um, to show you um, <laughs> um, the... Um, let's dive in. Huh, internet's out. Wanna hear a fun fact? Elbows are impossible to lick. I meant your own elbows. Switch to Xfinity, because it's only live once. It's impossible to pick favorites between my horses, but what else? No problem. I like this one. I think he likes me. I tell all my female friends how important it is to be equally invested in their finances in case something happens. Thrivent was there when I really needed it. I'm Jerry. I smoked. 
and I have late stage COPD. I'm hoping to get on the lung transplant list, but I don't know if I'll be accepted in time. My children are really worried. My tip is, every morning, give your kids a call or send them a text. It may be the last time that you do. You can quit. For free help, text quit now to 333-888. Ride towards it. Reach for it. Protect it. Enjoy it. Blue skies. Open roads. Wrangler for the ride of life. We welcome you back once again to the Credit Union 1 WCC Basketball Championship, our halftime show presented all week by Sterling Global Financial. Beautiful day once again here in Las Vegas. Gonzaga, number one seed in the tournament, up 38-25 at the half. Eric Rothman, Stephanie Hawk Freeman back here with you. And Stephanie, this is your team. You're a Gonzaga alum, Hall of Honor inductee. This is what the Zags have done all season long. Yeah, if you have not been following Gonzaga women's basketball, where have you been? <laughs> because my goodness, they are such a fun team to watch. They do it as a team, and they are really led by Yvonne Ejem. She has the whole package. WCC Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year as well. She already has 11 points and eight rebounds. She is on five watch lists. It's incredible. If you don't know who she's in company on those watch lists, go look it up. But what I love what she's doing today, yes, it's physical down low, but she is keeping herself involved and she is battling down low. Egypt has gotten it done today, nearly a double double. You mentioned all those watch lists. I, it might be on a neighborhood watch list for all I know with all the lists she's been on this year. Let's take a look at the first half stats brought to you by Triton Point Wealth. You first, always Pacific. It's the turnovers, right? 14 turnovers, giving Gonzaga way too many opportunities. Well, Gonzaga is really well known for their offense, but it is their defense. They get it done defensively as well. As well. They couldn't do what they've done this year without their defense. And we saw with Anaya James going out there for that little bit with in foul trouble, you could see how they capitalized on it. So Gonzaga right now ranks in the top 16 by the NCAA committee. If they go on to win this tournament here this week, obviously they'd have to finish out this game and another one. Do you feel like they've done enough this season to earn that top four seed? Absolutely. Their pre-conference schedule is top in the nation. They haven't had hardly any bad losses. And I'm telling you what, if they host at Spokane, we heard Ann and Jennifer talk about it. They come out and support this team. It is a great atmosphere. Oh, absolutely. And we'll have to get extra rooms in the hotels around Spokane to accommodate all the Gonzaga fans if the women do indeed host. But they still have to get through Pacific. It's a 13-point halftime lead for the Zags. Ejim leading the way. Appreciate you joining us here on the Sterling Global Halftime Show. Ann and Jennifer have it when we return. his whole life ahead of me. And I don't want to miss anything. I got you, buddy. I want to make the most of it. This is Sam. This is also Sam. Sam has big plans for the future. That's why Sam has a free personalized plan for retirement. A flexible plan helps Sam stay on target and adapt to anything that comes Sam's way. No matter where your day takes you, Fidelity can help you take on retirement. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand.
Thank you. Unbelievable. Are you wearing this just to get recognized? Oh, it's comfortable. Love the suit. <laughs> Tell your driver when you return the car, we'll fill it up for you. It's nice to have a little status. It's not you. It's T-Mobile Magenta status. Drive, driver. We got a special rate on my Hilton snacks. T-Mobile. Good night. You don't need to be famous to get premium benefits from brands you love. That's magenta status. Switch to T-Mobile and we'll pay off your phone up to 800 bucks. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. Imagine all the slopes you'll conquer. Sick. Imagine all the sights you'll see. Wow. Whoa. Okay, how about you imagine dropping me off? <laughs> Get low 1.99% APR or up to $1,500 cash back on Tundra. Or check out the all-new redesigned 2024 Tacoma. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Here at the Orleans Arena, Gonzaga leading Pacific 38-25. We are in Vegas. Ann and Jennifer, delighted to have you with us. Jordan as well. Jennifer, a tight game after one quarter has turned into another double-digit lead for Gonzaga. Well, a 20 to 10 second quarter, and Gonzaga shooting almost 59% from the three-point line. The Tigers have got to take that away in this third quarter to get going. And take care of the ball. All right, we know, Jordan, you're out there somewhere, and I think you flagged down Coach Davis, huh? Yeah, well, you said it, and the key word from Coach Davis at halftime was turnovers. They have to take care of the ball because it's not letting them get into their flow on the offensive end. I asked them when they had that strong start, what was working well. He said they were actually getting shots at the basket instead of giving the ball away. Another key on defense is taking away their three-point shot. Just an overall need to make it tougher on the Zags, guys. Thank you so much, Jordan. Appreciate it. As always, third quarter underway. Picked by Deaton. Going up against Trong. Thinks wisely of that. And then ball fake. Back rimming off is Smith. Unlucky there for Pacific. You know, when you look at the first half, J-Mo, you look at Pacific, they shot 43%, but they're just not getting enough shots off because of the turnovers. You're absolutely right. I mean, both teams shooting the ball really well, but turnover situation have led to nine points for Gonzaga. And this first three, four minutes, I think, are yeah. absolutely crucial for Pacific. They've got to get defensive stops and get something going and really get into a flow offensively. Air ball. Blocked inside by Hollingsworth, who has just been outstanding today. Maxwell's already hit a double. Looking for the triple, not there. Offensive rebound, Kaylee Trong. Well, I kind of think, well, I, I feel like Hollingsworth has been the difference in this game so far. Not just at the offensive end, defensively, she's I'm been terrific you. against Elliott inside. Kaylin Trong just invites that foul. She's going to go to the line. I mean, you look at Hollingsworth's first half, 10 points, four rebounds, a steal. She's playing physical inside. You you, you listen to Coach Fortier the talk about they're letting you play physical. You got to adjust, and she's been terrific. Deaton picks up her second team's first third quarter underway. Kaylin Trong, she and her sister out of Houston when they decided to come back. Maxwell decided to come back. <laughs> you knew Agent was going to be there. Oh, baby. Well, you talked about the fact that, you know, the Kennel Club went nuts when Egypt announced that this season. But last year, when the entire crew announced that they were coming back, that place <laughs> erupted. And I feel differently about this club, Jennifer, than last year. They feel like they are on a major mission after getting upset by Portland in the WCC championship last year. I agree. And you look at this squad across the board, obviously there's extreme talent, but their focus is different. I think they share the ball better. The chemistry is just enormously great. And, and I think they have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. They want to take care of business. Deaton gives it up to James. And that took some guts going in against Hollingsworth. And here comes Kaylin Trong and GU. Inside position. Oh, Deaton, she thought she might have the weak side block. Instead, she's going to pick up her third personal foul. Well, great anticipation, but watch this rim run right here. She gets deep, and the position Ejim gets in transition allows the entry pass. Great angle and an easy catch and go. And she got her on the arm. That's a good call. Yep. 
I like Deaton's idea. She, she just plays with like her hair's on fire. She plays it like it's gonna be the last game in her whole entire life. Sign me up to play with that kid anytime. But she'll sit with the three fouls. Ejim rimming off the first opportunity. She's an 82% free throw shooter. Leads this club's in makes and takes. One of two. Yeah, four of six for the day. The lead continues to grow for Gonzaga. 43-25, we're early in the third. James and Smith are gonna have to lead this club back. Ooh, that's a tough call. Haley Trong picks up her third. Well, this is a tough call, and we're gonna get a chance to watch this, but watch Holmgren wrap her around. That's that's a tough call right there. So she's Kaylee, gonna have to sit. Yep. Little will come in. Kaylee definitely frustrated. So here's James. Playing with the two fouls, James hesitates, runner, back rim and off. You like the look, oh. just wasn't there. Here comes Kaylin, she'll now just kind of trot it up. Beautiful hesitation move by yep. James. Lowry on the floor for Pacific. Elliott going right up there against Egypt. There's the switch. Wild shot by Hollingsworth. Yeah. She's got a big smile on her face. She lost that, I think, on the way up. The largest lead of the game right now is this current score, 43-25. Pacific obviously needs a little bit of a run and some energy, reason to believe. That's what Pacific needs. Well, really good adjustment because they pulled the opposite guard high, so there's no help side or backside defense on that law. Great, great adjustment by Pacific. Elliott with a much needed basket for the Tigers. Lying in on the weak side, rebound, run to the floor, another turnover. Smith airmailed that one. Well, you see that seal, they're fronting and no weak side help, able to get that pass up and over the top. Hollingsworth doing a great job, but not that time. Here's Little, she'll square up. Off the pick, Maxwell, extra pass. That is gorgeous basketball. Hollingsworth gets hit and one, she'll go to the line. Well, beautiful feed right here. You'll get to take a quick look. Doesn't come off, goes under the screen, and then the extra pass to Hollingsworth and an easy finish with the left hand. Gonzaga doing a great job of reading whether they should curl off a screen, go under, back cut. Great read there by Maxwell. Elliott picks up first second as Ennis checks back in. What a pass by Maxwell. You're right, Jen. Yeah. The read was so good. If you think she's just a shooter and a scorer, you're flat out wrong. Well, and that's where her game has expanded as well. I mean, she's been known for a three-point shooter her whole career. But man, people focus in on her, and she's make, setting her teammates up for great success. Transfer out of Utah is Maxwell finding a home in Spokane, and then some. Dumping it inside again, high-low. That time there was weak side help. Yeah, you, you see right now they had guards balanced in both spots. When they pull it high, they don't have backside help right there. Maxwell with a great anticipation. Pacific maintains possession. Here's Smith. James takes a step back, hits the three. There's your first team all-conference player. Uh, she's come to play today. Yeah. Doing a good job of avoiding further foul trouble. Pacific absolutely has to have her and Smith on the floor, dumping it. Egypt, you bet. Too easy. Well, a high-low combination. Hollingsworth, three-point threat, has height, can see over the top. Good hands, Elliott, and scores. 
But right now it is a post trade off back and forth high low options. And I think that's smart getting Elliot involved. Yes. Pretty quiet in that first half. Good job Ennis showing some help. Collinsworth dumps it inside again. Ejim the mismatch and takes advantage, does Ejim. Well, that's where if you get a switch and you get a smaller guard on her, you're in big trouble. And again, <laughs> she uses her body so well and she's so strong. The pick. Collinsworth with a great tip. Ejim now with 16 points and nine rebounds. She has just been unstoppable. Enos, Ennis asked to guard Hollingsworth. That's just a tough matchup for the Pacific Guard. Maxwell fouled by Smith. She will go to the line. Gonzaga clinical in its execution. We are thrilled about our partnership with Credit Union One. They're willing to make a commitment to enhancing the student athlete experience at all of our championship events. We feel that their strong presence in Las Vegas, coupled with our men's and women's basketball tournament, will be an opportunity to continue to grow, and we're just excited about the long-term support at our most signature event. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 27th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales from every sub are given back to the community. And to kick off all that giving, Peter gave me an apron. I'm honored. Looking good, Danny. We've got subs to make, though. Yeah, now I know why you gave me the apron. <laughs> Join us Wednesday, March 27th, for Jersey Mike's day of giving. Be a sub above. For 170 years, Catholic Charities has been dedicated to finding long-term solutions for our community's most urgent problems. We serve everyone with respect, compassion, and accountability. Solving homelessness with dignity, keeping families together, ending poverty through education, welcoming immigrants, supporting seniors, and advocating for social justice. Together, we are changing lives. Join us at catholiccharitiessf.org. If you've ever raised your hand, you know it takes courage. The courage to risk everything, to offer help, to go first. The courage to reach for the stars. But imagine how much easier it will be to raise your hand with the confidence of a Gonzaga degree. The 2024 WCC Basketball Championship is brought to you by Credit Union One. Discover better banking for all at cu1.com. By Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. And by Nike, a proud partner of the West Coast Conference. 4.45 left to go in the third quarter, semifinal number one here in Las Vegas, WCC Championship, Gonzaga leading Pacific by a bunch, 50 to 32. The all important seedings, the announcement, the selection Sunday is just around the corner, J-Mo. And the Portland region, it looks really strong for Gonzaga. Yeah, absolutely. And we talked about the fact that they're gonna hopefully get a chance to host at home and then go to Portland as they advance. But the, we talk about the fan base. I mean, what more could you want? Be able to tra you know, travel all of their fans down the road in Portland. You look at what Gonzaga has done, not a single bad loss. They finished three and one against the Pac-12, including that stunning upset against Stanford, number three at the time, at the Kennel. The last loss for Gonzaga, 
That was way back in November, the 26th against a really good Louisville club. That's not a bad loss. No, oh, and then they lost to Washington State in overtime earlier that month. That was like early November. Just they've had a terrific run, 23 straight. Running the table in the WCC conference. Heavy favorites to win it all. They get the double bye. And Jennifer, they shook off some early rust and have looked like the Bulldogs that we have known to grow and love. Absolutely, especially at the defensive end. Uh, great hustle play by I'll James. Say, I just love the guards for this Pacific team. I really, really do. I do too. They're savvy, they're gritty. They get to the rim, they can shoot the three, very athletic. I mean, James is a complete player. Oh, man. Just a junior. Had that shoulder injury last year, did James. That kind of affected her play, obviously, but she has been an all-conference player this entire season, season, and Smith right along with her. Pacific Green, a little bit of heat, trying to make Gonzaga use clock. Haley Trong back into the Gonzaga line, line up along with Hybins, Hybins and O'Connor. Mop up bucket, not there. Hollingsworth misses a bunny. They've had a few of those today. Yep. And, and shots that they normally do not miss. Schweitzer on the floor for Pacific. She's been really solid off the bench once again. Deaton back on the floor playing with three fouls. Smith thought about going high-low. Angle wasn't there. Nice play by Schweitzer. Got to make a note. Hollingsworth already a double-double for Eliza, 13 and 10. Fifth double-double of the season. Yeah, she's been terrific today. Both ends of the floor. Big assignment guarding Elliott. Like the idea by Deaton. The angle just wasn't there. <laughs> Katie just never stops. Well, Possession arrow favors Pacific. Coming up next, more Credit Union 1 WCC Basketball Championship action. Coming up after this semifinal game, it'll be semifinal number two, Santa Clara taking on Portland. Three minutes left to go in this semifinal tilt. Gonzaga led by three after the first quarter, Jennifer Mountain, and then just put on the Jets. Put on the Jets, and really that second quarter Got so many people involved. And there's that high-low option once again with Collingsworth at the perimeter. They have no backside help, and she goes over the top. Smith had fallen down, couldn't play any kind of help defense, so it was a layup. Deaton. Deaton thought she had an N1. As aggressive as anyone I've seen play. Well, you get, see Gonzaga coming off the high on ball. There's the roll, and there's the high-low option. Just doing a terrific job to the tee. No backside help on that. Katie D, two shots. Here's what we're talking about, J-Mo. I mean, look at the points off turnovers. I mean, both teams have had struggles with taking care of the ball, but second and third quarter combined, 36 wow. to 19. That's a lot of points. Yeah. O'Connor picks up that foul, by the way. Deaton hits one of two. You got to credit this Pacific team, though. They're not going to stop. I mean, the last couple possessions, you know, you know, Gonzaga comes back with the defensive boards, and they're they're in there scrapping, trying to take it away. They're bringing a little bit of heat. A two-two-one full court press, and there's Deaton right there. Not scoring like she did in yesterday's game against USF when she just went off, but just still impacting the game. She doesn't take a playoff. Yeah, 0 of 7 right now in the game, and that's a tough pass. James makes you pay. Yeah, Coach, Coach Fortier not happy with that decision. Going to call a quick timeout. James just silky smooth. This is a Pacific team that still believes but they've got a mountain to climb, 54-37, they trail. Try new McDonald's sauce now. Now? Huh? 
The race to McDonald's is on! No! No! I will win! Welcome! I guess we both win. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce, only at McDonald's! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Go! Knowing that Thriven is helping me take the right financial steps for my kids' future, it's a huge sense of relief for my family. Huh, the internet's out. Wanna hear a fun fact? Elbows are impossible to lick. I meant your own elbows. Switch to Xfinity, because it's only live once. Roll up to Easter with fast and easy drive up. What you wanna see? Let's go! Doing it so naturally. I'm gonna be a fantasy. Easy like one, two, three. Yes, yeah, easy like. One. Drive up is fast, easy, and always free. Only at Target. It's love at first bite with Hagen Dots. Vanilla milk chocolate almond bar. That's Dots. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Get incredible 0% APR for 72 months on the fully electric BZ4X. Or at least one for just $3.29 a month. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. The 2024 WCC Basketball Championship is brought to you by the Southern Nevada Toyota Dealers. Toyota, let's go places. By Ticket Smarter. Experience the power and excitement of live events with Ticket Smarter. Think smarter, think Ticket Smarter. And by Credit Union One. Discover better banking for all at cu1.com. We're at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Top seeded and 14th ranked Gonzaga leading 5th seeded Pacific 54 37. 220 left to go in the third quarter. Semi final number one. Here comes some heat. Well, and if you're Pacific, this is what gets you back in the ball game. I mean, Gonzaga has struggled at times to take care of the ball. They have 14 turnovers on their own. That's a good point, Jennifer Mountain. They get that ball over the timeline, but now only 15 on the shot clock. Well, that's what Pacific wants. They want short halftime or half-court possessions. Maxwell driving. Egyms now has to give it up. Egypt does. Got to put it up. Busted play for Gonzaga. Well, and Tron lost her shoe right there coming off that on ball. And that's not what you want out of that timeout if you were Coach Fortier. Kaylee Trong, who averages 12 points a game, scoreless at this point. You don't say that very often. No. Here's Deaton. Smith unloads and hits. Well, you mentioned it. You know, we got a 14-point ball game. You mentioned the fact that this team believes, and this Tiger squad has a lot of confidence in themselves. They've played well so far in the tournament. Maxwell hammered, no call. Pacific looking to add to a 6 nothing run. No quit in this Tiger bunch. Here's Deaton behind the back, almost loses it. Now it's Holmberg, yes! Well, they're not gonna quit and they're gonna start. If they start knocking shots down from the three-point line, that's the way to get yourself back in the ball game. Gonzaga not handling the physicality of this game in this third quarter. The run continues for Pacific, trying to get back into this thing. Egypt gives it up. Kaylee, body's flying, rimming out. 
and Ejim is going to get tagged for that foul. Well, Pacific on a 9-0 run, and I'll tell you, it's all about the three-point line right now. Smith coming off, nobody there to guard her, and she's a kid that can really get hot quick. And then the kick out, and Holmberg gets herself going from the three-point line. Look at that bench. Egypt picks up that foul, by the way, her second. Well, and James, I believe, got popped in the nose right there. She did. She's going to have to go out real quick to get that attended to. Or they're trying to get it stopped real quick before we resume play. This has been a very, very physical game. James is going to have that water, whatever, up that nostril. Lowry will check in. James will make sure she is ready to go. 54-43. Pacific wow. three of their last three from the field. Schweitzer wanted it high low. Angle wasn't there. Unforced air. Holmberg just loses the handle. That's unfortunate. Yeah, just not getting a shot up, especially Man. when you're on a run. Shot clock off, game clock at 15 right here. Kaylin Trong is going to find Maxwell. Now, Kaylee. Wow. So the turnover turns into the triple. Well, and that was all set up by a flare screen option for Maxwell on this side. Defense lost, and then Trong gets open on the perimeter for a big three. What a clutch triple by Trong to beat the clock. You see the clock at the top of your screen. Three seconds left, splashes at home. Wow, Gonzaga with the answer. We are the WCC. We are fueled by the conviction to achieve our goals without boundaries. We recognize and we adapt. We welcome adversity. We are Presidential Medal of Freedom winners, NBA champions, Olympic gold medalists, record breakers, and difference makers. We create change and we create champions. We are the West Coast Conference. We are thrilled about our partnership with Credit Union One. They're willing to make a commitment to enhancing the student athlete experience at all of our championship events. We feel that their strong presence in Las Vegas, coupled with our men's and women's basketball tournament, will be an opportunity to continue to grow. And we're just excited about the long-term support at our most signature event. For 170 years, Catholic Charities has been dedicated to finding long-term solutions for our community's most urgent problems. We serve everyone with respect, compassion, and accountability. Solving homelessness with dignity, keeping families together, ending poverty through education, welcoming immigrants, supporting seniors, and advocating for social justice. Together, we are changing lives. Join us at catholiccharitiessf.org. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 27th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales from every sub are given back to the community. And to kick off all that giving, Peter gave me an apron. I'm honored. Looking good, Danny. We've got subs to make, though. Yeah, now I know why you gave me the apron. <laughs> Join us Wednesday, March 27th, for Jersey Mike's Day of Giving. Be a sub above. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Time for 
to take a look at our Credit Union One WCC Basketball Championship scoreboard presented by Ticket Smarter. Think smarter, think Ticket Smarter. We're going to take a look at the brackets, actually. Well, you take a look. We, obviously, this game here, we got one more quarter to go, but the next semifinal coming up right after this, number two, Santa Clara taking on number three seed, Portland, trying to make it back into that final once again. Boy, recently, Portland loves to play in Vegas. That is for sure. Yes. Two conference tournament championships in the last four years. Really good job defensively by Elliott on Ejim, and the ball goes off Yvonne's hand. Well, we talk about the turnovers. That's their 16th turnover of the game. Fourth quarter underway. Now can Pacific capitalize? Gonzaga usually only turns it over about 13 times a game, so they're well over that as James is back on the floor with the cotton up the nose. Deaton. Bocci take the pull-up jumper. Instead gives it up to Holmberg. James changes hands. Tries to squeeze through that Gonzaga defense. Shot clock violation. Well, uh, to, back to your point, I think Deaton needs to take that shot right there. She's creating, getting off the bounce, just will open things up, and she really hasn't op had, had a lot of opportunities to score the basketball today. We channel that scoring game from yesterday. Deaton's only got the two points, but that was a really good look she passed up. Yeah. And she created that look. She did all the heavy lifting. Trump. It's really good defense by Deaton. Well, neither official can see it. Nope. They're going to have to go jump ball, and that's going to be in favor of the Tigers. The Tigers thought they had earned that. You hate to give up the possession arrow, but they'll they'll well, get it back. Let's and, see. And Egypt thought this ball went off Elliott, and it sure did. It did. It did. So. Obviously, the officials were screened. Pacific will get the ball back via the jump ball call, the possession arrow favoring the Tigers. That's a good break there for the Tigers. Yep. Early in the fourth quarter, turnover Pacific, and that beat goes on. So their 19th turnover of wow. the game. Their season high in turnovers is 23. Well, it's, it's the crucial time of those turnovers. You know, you talk about that turnover in that late third quarter, big swing, and Gonzaga hits a three. Deaton got hammered, that's for sure. So Kaylee Trong will pick up her fourth personal foul, teams first. Yeah, Kaylee Trong just in and out with foul trouble today, just not able to stay on the floor. All right, we'll go the other way. Smith hesitates, front rim and off. I Lots think, of white jerseys. I think she was surprised with how open she was. Defense left her, left the ball. What a pass inside from Little to Hollingsworth. Yeah, great feed inside. Again, the post from Gonzaga doing such good job of getting early position. Here's what we're talking about. Just a great entry pass, baseline entry pass, great seal inside, easy finish for Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth with 15 points now. Again, game time decision with that faulty ankle. And she's delivered the goods with 15 points and 10 boards and counting. Egypt, give it up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Smith was coming from behind. <laughs> she got that a couple times the other day. Strong backs up, just didn't like the separation. Seven on the shot clock now for Hollingsworth and company. Dumping it, Tylo Ejim misses the bunny inside. Ball still up for grabs into the hands of Holmberg. And Ejim will pick up her second foul, team second. Kind of frustration foul right there. That's a foul yeah. you do not want to have. Again, Ejim with the 16 points and the nine boards. But that's when she makes in her sleep. That definitely was a frustration foul. I'm with you, J-Mo. Yeah, she's had a few of those today where just not getting it high on the board. 
another Pacific turnover, and there's just no way you come back against the 14th ranked team in the country with this many cough ups. You're absolutely right, and Coach Davis is going to call a timeout here and talk it over. I think getting them settled down, huge seven minutes to go. 59 43, come on back, GU rolling. McDonald's starts out now. Now? No! Race McDonald's is on! I will win! Welcome. <laughs> I guess we both win. Try new savory chili McDonald's sauce only at McDonald's. All the parts you need at the prices you want. Guaranteed to fit every time. So you can keep your ride or die alive. What's the next adventure? That's the real question. With Fidelity Income Planning, we'll help you create a clear, personalized plan for cash flow even when you're not working. One that includes your 401k and all your other accounts. So you can make informed decisions that best fit your life ahead. A plan designed to help you make your money last so you can go from saving to living. That's the planning effect from Fidelity. Choice Hotels is a family of brands that helps you get the most for your money so you can be any traveler you want to be. You could be a free hot breakfast hero at a comfort hotel. Yes! That's how you waffle! A romantic weekend escaper at a Cambria hotel. Or Mr. Get the Party Started. Hey! Be a pool lounger. Or a big room relaxer. With 22 brands and the best value for your money, Choice Hotels has a stay for any you. Stay twice and get a free night when you book direct at choicehotels.com. Gotta get the corners. I have had many cars over the years. I make sure they're well maintained. But sometimes you just run into a faulty car with problems. If you have a car with problems, call my Lemon Law Lawyer now. When your car stops working, they start working. Visit them at mylemonlawlawyer.com. They get the manufacturers to cover your costs. You pay zero. If you have a 2018 to 2024 vehicle with problems, call now. Perhaps you just bought it from the dealership and you're having problems. You need to call my Lemon Law Lawyer now. You pay zero. That's right, zero. Disaster cleanup and restoration. How do you make like it never even happened happen? Let it rain, Randy! Woo! <laughs> yes! By being prepared for anything! <laughs> Woo! Whatever comes your way, there's a pro for that. Serve pro like it never even happened. Time now for our Jersey Mike's play of the game. Jersey Mike's, be us up above. Well, just going in transition. Kaylin with a no look pass to Hollingsworth. She's got 15 and 10. Kaylin, six assists on the game. Beautiful no look pass. Mm. Hollingsworth with that bum ankle. Looks pretty good to me, J Mo. It looks great. 15 points. 10 rebounds, two of four from the three-point line, and the assist, too. I mean, she's been able to hit the post player. Her partner down low, she's got three assists on the night. The Australian pipeline has served this conference well. Hollingsworth and Aussie having herself one heck of a semifinal game. Ejim will square. 6.50 left to go in this fourth quarter. Ejim bumped. Little didn't want it. Ejim says, I love it down here. <laughs> well, you love the fact that she gives it up and then immediately reposts. They go right back inside and she goes one on one. Little, not known for her three point shooting, was just smart to let Ejim do her thing and get back down with the seal. Like the take by James. Love the take. And Hollingsworth coming over, just altering that shot just a tiny bit. Hollingsworth. My goodness, what a game for Eliza. Oh, this team, I mean, they shear the basketball so well. Unselfish play. Long Ejim. three, long three in transition there by Smith. Double-double now for Ejim. 12th double-double of the season. Double figures in every single game this year and all those double-doubles. Maxwell off the pick. Oh, Egypt just flies in to take that ball away. Kaylin Trong rimming out. Egypt battling, keeps the ball alive. Another try for Gonzaga. 
And they just keep eating clock. But a little smart just to get that ball back out to get composed. Why not, Eliza? I mean, why the heck not? Maxwell picks up her second foul. Team's third. So you see the unselfish play, not taking the shot herself in transition, on balance, hits the post in the trail. Hollingsworth, the recipient again of just great decision making by the Trong sisters. Hollingsworth will have a seat. She's got 18 points, four off of her career high. Hyben's sixth player of the year. We'll check in for Gonzaga. Schweitzer in for Pacific. It's go time for the Tigers. Schweitzer stepping through, front rim and off. Ennis checking in, quickly picks herself up after falling. Trong didn't have the cutter. 10 on the shot clock right here for Ejim and company. Maxwell pulling up and shooting so good off that pick. Oh, great back pick. Oh, just a frustration that you can see on Deaton's face. And just one of those afternoons for her. Yeah, I mean, she plays so hard. And you talked about her ability to score the other day. Missed opportunity. Gonzaga looking to add to the 12-0 run. Make it 14-0 as Kaylin Trong cans the mid-range. Well, it's so smooth coming off that on ball. Gonzaga is going to run you off on ball screens all night long. And if you don't defend, they're going to get easy looks or high low options. Oh Hybins picks up her second. Team's fourth. Burton checking in for the first time. And Kaylee Trong back onto the floor for Gonzaga. Smith does all the tough work and just got too deep and had to just fling it up. Nothing there for Smith. Yeah, too Look deep. That pass. Beautiful. By Kaylee, you know, she hasn't scored, but she's still playing her game. Yeah, in and out with foul trouble all night, but I'll tell you, you cannot for one second sleep on these Trump sisters. They see the floor so well. They know where their teammates are going to be. Ivan's big block. Schweitzer stays with it. Can't get it home. Ball into the hands of James. Good save. James tries to elevate and does. And what a game for James. I mean, look at that play right there. She's past the three-point line extended. Saves the basketball. Immediate back cut to the rim and a finish. James now with 16 points, double figures in six straight. In this tournament, she's averaged over, over 13 points a game. She has been an absolute stud. Maxwell rimming out. James has been worth the price of admission. Yes. And just a junior. Pacific looking a little gassed, J-Mo. Yeah, you know, this is a third game in four days, and you got to tip their cap. I mean, they've played a lot of minutes. I love how they've competed throughout the tournament. Maxwell will have a seat the 17 points and three triples. And one, and Ennis pumps her fist. Heck yeah. Hybens with the foul, her third. Team's fifth. Here's Ennis. Grad student missing the N1 opportunity. 70 to 47, 230 left in this game. It's decided, J-Mo. Gonzaga's going to the finals. 
they've had a good, complete game. They've struggled to take care of the ball at times, but got a lot of people involved. Again, another frustration foul. Deaton and Little tangling a little bit underneath. I mean, if you cut in line in front of Deaton at the coffee shop, she is going to let you have it. <laughs> no latte for you. Little picks up that foul. So Deaton will have a couple of tosses coming up. Tough sledding today for Katie. Two points all coming from the charity stripe. Championship Central presented by Sterling Global Financial following this ball game. Eric and Stephanie, man, have they been doing some work. Just enjoyed the heck out of listening to them. They're right here on site. All the sights and sounds and the energy and Eric and Stephanie will take you through our post game as they have. They've been terrific. JMO, it's going to take a lot and a complete game and a clean game to beat this Gonzaga bunch. It really is. They just are so dangerous in so many spots. I mean, you mentioned the fact they have five starters and double figures. Just pick your poison. You take one thing away and they're going to expose you somewhere else. And it's it's they've got to clean up a few things, I think, going into the final. But uh, right now, this team is playing at a really high level. And you kind of understand it. They haven't played since the end of February. And you can practice and get the guys in against the practice squad and scout all you want. But JMO, you know this as an athlete and coach. It's the it's the action that that you know kind yeah. of shucks off the rust. Yeah, and they had you know they exactly what you said. I mean they've had scrimmages against the practice guys and so forth. But you're right, unless you're under the lights and playing against somebody else. I mean even the practice guys you get in day in day out and yeah. You know, they took more time off in that 11 days than they normally do, which, you know, gives teams ability to get healthy and rest. Deaton hits the first one. So four and double figures for Gonzaga. Ejim, 18 and 13, double-double. Hollingsworth, 18 and 12, double-double. Maxwell, 17 points in the three triples. And Kaylin Trong with the 13 points and three triples. Man, you talk about the Trong sisters. I mean, Kay Lee held scoreless in this game, other doing other things. But last time she was held scoreless was in the final against Portland last year. Kay Lee, obviously, last year missing all of those games. 23 all told with the injuries coming back late, late, late in the season. And maybe a, a little bit, you know, too soon coming back into the tournament last year. Just was not herself, but man, I'll tell you, having that dynamic duo in the backcourt. It's okay. Kay Lee obviously healthy this year. Should mention that Maxwell back on the floor along with Hollingsworth. Nicely played by Smith. Good job by Smith anticipating that with Trong falling out of bounds. And if you're going to save it underneath your own basket, you need to be able to chuck that thing to the other end, not give a team an opportunity to score. So Smith picks up her third. JMO, question for you. Gonzaga usually beating its opponents by nearly 32 points a game. What have you liked about Pacific today? I, I'll tell you, they're gritty. You, you talked about the confidence love in which they came. They turned Gonzaga over in another one right there. I thought at times, you know, miss baskets that they normally don't miss, maybe playing a little bit tight. But I'll tell you, the, 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 de the depth that they have is just crucial. They get the tip in the transition, trying to put pressure on them. Jane steps in and hits the three. She's been terrific today. We've been talking about her. She got 19 points. And five assists. Man, what a tournament for Anaya James. <laughs> All right, so Jennifer, despite a nice run by Pacific, it's gonna be Gonzaga advancing, and they'll await the winner of our second semifinal tilt coming up, Santa Clara, Portland. Yeah, and it, it, this is gonna be a terrific matchup. You got number two, Santa Clara, who has a lot of weapons, but a Portland style that pushes you out of what you normally do. They're gonna like to turn you over. Really good matchup. They split in the regular season. 
Pacific will finish this season with 18 wins, the most since 2018-19. Another trip to the WCC semifinals. Heck of a season for Bradley Davis and his Tigers. And I think they're going to get a chance to go to NIT. I'd love to see them in the postseason. Rightfully so. I mean, they've had a great year. They're going to get a jump ball here on that little tangle up. So Gonzaga will inbound. Just under 50 seconds to play in this semifinal game here at the Orleans Arena. Deaton just won't quit. Probably travel. Yep. Uh, she looks like she hurt her knee. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. I just hate to see that happen. This Pacific team certainly not giving up. Pacific on a 12-0 run over the last two and a half minutes. And Deaton, who refuses to take a playoff, going hard to the hole, yep. landing awkwardly, and is still down. And the worried Tigers fan base, we're all worried. Deaton, who has brought so much energy, the transfer out of North Dakota State and UNC Greeley, is going to walk very gingerly to the sideline. Well, the fact that she's able to get up and walk is a good sign for sure. But you talk about the fight, just getting it, she gets it in transition. Landed on somebody's foot, it looks like. We'll hope she's okay. Ooh, that got that Pacific bench quiet in a hurry. Oh, goodness sakes. All right, J-Mo, let's take a deep breath and collect ourselves as we just send positive vibes towards Katie Deaton. It's 70 to 55. Pacific, to their credit, they could have hung their heads about, oh, three or four minutes ago and thought, well, I wonder what we're having for dinner. You're absolutely right. And Not even close. Yeah, and just competed the entire time. Very gritty. Like Smith and James, like you said, in the guard spot were terrific today. I like this team a lot. Yep. But it's going to be Gonzaga at the end of the day with Hollingsworth. Another bucket, 20 points. Once again, that high-low option. They run it so well coming off the on ball. Post player rolling and opposite post coming high, just feeding off each other. Hollingsworth now with the 20 points, two off of her career high. And again, we weren't even sure she was going to play because of that yeah. bad ankle. Sheesh. Sweet. Anaya James. <laughs> She has been an absolute joy to watch. 21 points on the day. Fourth 20 point game of the season. Lowry flies in. I love this team. I really do. This Pacific bunch just won't let you get away too quietly in the night, will they? No, and I mean, you look at their guards and the anticipation right there. Not quitting till that buzzer sounds. They, they should be very, very proud of oh. their effort today. Nobody in WCC play has played Gonzaga tightly except for this bunch exactly. right here. Exactly. And I think, you know, that that game in Stockton a few weeks ago certainly helped this cause. Oh, man. Having the two wins, you know, prior to this game coming in. And so just to remind you, I want you to think about this, folks. Back in early February, this is a Gonzaga team that just rolled Pacific by 60 points or something. And then, you know, it got close. Yeah, and I think we're going to have a technical foul here. Oh, uh, out of timeouts. Gonzaga is out of timeouts and called one, so they're going to get a technical foul. Well, of 
48 looked a little cranky on that one because <laughs> that's just that's just not what they do. No, that's just not being sharp. Right. You know, at times they were really good today, and then there's some things that they need to clean up. The turnover situation, you certainly cannot have 21 turnovers. Yep. Or excuse me, 18 turnovers. Close enough, man, huh? I need my glasses. <laughs> 25 turnovers for Gonzaga today. Way too many. Seconds left, and that'll do it. So the final, 72 to 61. Pacific putting on a little burst to end this thing. Well, they were terrific, an 18-2 run to finish out this game. We talked about the grit. They had some great individual performances. James and Smith leading the track, 23 and 12 apiece, but Gonzaga just too many weapons down the stretch. A complete effort by the Zags moving forward to the finals. Four and double figures for this Gonzaga bunch, including Egypt, who had 18 to go along with 13 boards, another double-double for the great Ivan Egypt. So you look at Ejum all day long, high and low recipient, rolling to the rim, so strong inside, able to take the contact, rebounds like crazy, offensive board, uses her strength. Again, another quick pitback, and her ability 